understand from brothers, sisters, friends, comrades on YouTube. And to my family, hello. My love of my dreams. She's having a rough go of it. She's not feeling well. Sick. Real sick. Playing a little bit of games at her workplace. So she's she's trying to get it figured out today. Bless her heart. All I can think about is her right now. So uh, we're in Gillette, Wyoming. And right in the middle of town. I mean, it's like... It's a fine Jay. Here, let me turn you around. Here we are at the Flying J. You can see when the fuel truck gets out of the way. I mean, we're like right in the center of it, man. This is like, I don't know if I want to call it downtown, but yeah, there's quite a lot going on. It's a Walgreens over there. I went over there for uh, some provisions last evening. Um, there's the actual store there, and then across the street there is a couple of motel, motel, motels. What you gonna do today? And uh, yeah, right in the middle of it. So anyway, um, we left Mauston, Wisconsin yesterday. And we drove 850 miles, something like that, to get to Gillette. We were going to stop in Sundance, and we it, it was a planned stop. I mean, that's where we were going to, you know, crash it for the evening. Uh, it wasn't a Flying J or a pilot, but we didn't really need to showers or any other provisions except coffee. So, uh, but we got there, and it was just a muddy mess. That wasn't a paved parking lot. It was a dirt parking lot. And it was just messy. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not, we're not, I'm not staying here. This is, this place is just soup. And we're going to be dragging this crap in everywhere. So now nah, we're not, so I did a big loop in the parking lot, got right back on to 90. And I had about two hours left to get to Gillette, which was only 60 miles away. And it's not quite an hour. So going through the mountains here in Wyoming. It's actually the Black Hills of Wyoming. Uh, which segues me nicely into, um, you know, I always said I was, I wanted to go to Sturgis, but I never want to go there in August during the rally. It's just a madhouse. I've been to madhouse rallies before, and it is absurdly dangerous. I mean, riding motorcycles is inherently dangerous anyway. But it's even worse when you have 30,000 people there that you don't know that are cocktailing and whatever else they're doing, you know, and Lord knows they're doing it. If it's to be had, it's had at a rally and um, never wanted to go to Sturgis during that time. But I got through it yesterday, so that was kind of cool and it was still daylight out. I got a good look at it definitely in the Black Hills of uh, South Dakota but it's very close to Wyoming um, on the west side of uh, of South Dakota Deadwood is right there uh, Spearfish went through all that stuff so all along I-90 which is where we are right now uh, in Gillette along I-90 over here so uh, it was a uh, Pretty nifty travels. Uh, I see so much wildlife up here that I don't normally see. And uh, certainly trucking. I mean, in the last few days, we've seen turkey and deer and antelope. Um, saw a bobcat uh, on the beginning of this trip. A bunch of pheasant. Never seen pheasant live in my life. Um, the cross-country shot we had to Florida, I had four pheasant fly right across my nose in Nebraska. And then um, yesterday, or not yesterday, but at the beginning of this trip, uh, when we went to Wisconsin on the way there in Montana, I saw just a bunch of, um, you know, when they cut the corn and the corn stalks are still about yay high in the field, that's where these... Um, pheasant were and there was I don't know a dozen of them 
first time I've ever seen them. They looked delicious, I gotta tell you. My goodness. But anyway, the amount of wildlife you see in this place, uh, when I say this place, I mean this country, while trucking and solar powered trucking, by the way, it's, it's pretty stunning. You don't see these kinds of things in the desert. You know, pheasant, at least I've never seen pheasant in the desert. I've heard people claim they could go pheasant hunting in the Antelope Valley. I ain't buying it. I lived there for 45 years and I, well, yeah, at least. And I, I, I have never seen, I've never seen a pheasant. <laughs> I've been quail hunting, I've been dove hunting, but I've never seen a pheasant. <laughs> anyway, um, we're at way ahead of schedule, so we're going to be going to Evanston, Wyoming today. It's about 475 miles. Piece of cake, nothing to it. Uh, we're going to be twisting and turning on some of uh, Wyoming's state highways, which is kind of cool. It's a trucker path route, um, but to get on the state highways is really cool because it really tucks you away into the you know the sort of the bowels of the state so um, kind of excited about that we're on it for only about 115 miles but um, that's going to be a, a cool 115 miles I'm sure so I'm looking forward to that um, and then uh, eventually works us down to I-80 again and then we'll uh, I believe it dumps us off into the Rollins area if I remember the map correctly and then we're going to slide over to um, Evanston, which is right on the border of Wyoming and Idaho, spend the night uh, where I will then get a shower. And then um, the following day, we'll go to Twin Falls, which we normally go to. You guys are well, you're very familiar with that uh, stop. So we'll be there probably early afternoon on um, Saturday uh, yeah on today's third yeah we'll be there on Saturday I'm looking at a little calendar and then uh, Sunday our load is due back at the Caldwell yard so the beautiful thing about that is that it's pretty official that I'm done I'm done with my training uh, on this trip I'm excited about that I'm excited about getting into my own truck, which hopefully will be next week sometime. I don't know when. That's the biggest. Mama and I were talking about that this morning. That's It's, it's part of the unknown. I just don't know when I'm going to get that truck and get my first load, which will be to California, and I will be going home. You know, not having been home since January 20th, as all of you well know, is nonsense and I'm just not going to stand for it. So uh, I want to go home, man. I want to see my wife more than anything. So, uh, th yeah, this is just, this is a ridiculous amount of time to be away from home and not even get a single, even a 10 hour stint at the house, which is what my trainer gets on a pretty regular basis because of, of his um, address in Twin Falls. He gets to go quite a bit. He gets to go to the house and uh, I haven't been home since. So I'm ready for that and uh, ready to get this load off our back and another safe travels. We, I'm telling you, we've been doing it right. We're doing really good in terms of uh, safety and um, road awareness. We're, we're, we're doing really good and I'm excited to say that dangerous out here or sure can be and whatever happens happens freaking fast and we haven't had any problems so we're doing really really good there very very happy about that and which even adds to the excitement of me being able to get out on my own so anyway uh just dropping a line from gillette wyoming this morning um getting ready to head over to evanston wyoming and then uh, eventually back to the yard. Looking forward to it. So uh, we'll talk to y'all soon. Uh, not really any other special little highlights to throw out at you. So that's that for a minute. You know what I mean? You 
know who love you. Our heads are swiveling. We do appreciate that, especially in tornado land. My folks and my sister, nephew, they're all in Texas and they're having some rough weather out there. They're knocking stick houses down and people's uh, barbecues are being thrown about. And uh, so there's a little bit of some rough weather. I guess a Mexican restaurant, uh, at least part of it, collapsed uh, on itself. Uh, during this storm that they were having down there. So uh, I'm grateful I'm not having to deal with any of that. But my folks are and, you know, uh, the rest of my family is down there, my sister and my nephew and their families. So we hope y'all stay safe and um, keep y'all's head on a swivel, not for uh, bad people, but for tornado. They're ripping through the area. I don't think where they are today, but they were last evening. So anyway, we hope you're all good. Love y'all. Love y'all. And you know who do. It's your boy, Clydesdale, Leonard's Express. Peace.